Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. And today we're talking about the Cecilia premium deck set reveals that we got today, giving us some hints about what's to come for Raging Form and Salome. So we're just gonna jump right into it. Starting with the new Cecilia crest. So we got a whole new thing for premium, which is dedicated crests for specific G units that rely on your heart having a limit break. For those who don't know what a limit break is, it is a skill that only activates when you have four or more cards in your damage zone. This is something that came to Vanguard like 2012-ish. This is a really, 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 really old game mechanic. So it's kind of fun to see that they're bringing it back. But let's just go ahead and jump right into what the card effects do and how the crest works. Maiden Lily Musketeer Captain Virginal Cecilia. So it has your regular stride step cost and it also has an act ability in the G zone. If your Vanguard is a grade three White Lily Musketeer Cecilia with the Limit Break ability and you did not get an imaginary gift this fight, choose one or more cards from your hand with the sum of their grades being three or greater, discard them. Stride this unit. Then you can turn a card with Musketeer in its name in your G zone face up. You get two imaginary gift forts and you get a White Lily Musketeer Cecilia Crest. So finishing off with the rest of this ability, act once per turn. Counter Blast 1, turn a card with the same name as this unit in your G zone face up. Choose up to five of your rear guards and retire them. Look at the top seven cards of your deck. Choose up to the same number of cards with Musketeer in their card name as the number of units retired by this effect from among them. Call them to rear and they get 3k until the end of turn for each face up card in your G zone with Musketeer in its card name. So first off, limit break, right? Secondly, the fact that each of these units are getting 6k right off the bat when you use this skill, kind of nutso for a first turn stride, especially when your opponent's still at grade two, because this is an act ability. You can stride via the act skill without your opponent needing to be at grade three. Obviously this isn't gonna be like a multi-attack thing right off the bat. So you're not gonna be able to just, you know, pummel your opponent with a bunch of musketeer attacks, but it's not a bad way to start, especially when we dive into what the crest does. So let's just do that right now. White Lily Musketeer Cecilia Crest. If your heart is White Lily Musketeer Cecilia with the Limit Break ability, the Maiden Lily Musketeer Captain Virginal Cecilia on your Vanguard gets all the original abilities of your heart and auto when your White Lily Musketeer Cecilia is placed onto the rearguard circle from the deck, you can draw a card. That unit gets 10K till the end of turn. Uh, continuing on to the effect continuous, the original power of your grade three cards with limit break become 13K and your Vanguard's limit break abilities are active even if your damage has three or less cards. Breaking it down. Firstly, the Virginal Cecilia is gonna get the abilities of your White Lily Musketeer Cecilia. So more calling. Uh, the second thing is it's a 13K base. So you don't really have to worry about that 10K base, which White Lily, Musketeer Cecilia is, it is a 10k base grade three. Some people probably don't even know that that was a thing at this point. They haven't even looked at Vanguard cards that old yet. Being able to call Cecilia from the deck to just draw a card and get 10k, that's nice. And obviously Limit Break is active regardless how much damage you're at. So you're able to use uh, Cecilia's Limit Break from the heart while you're on Virginal Cecilia, which is nice. So again, more calling. So what does Virginal Cecilia Doe. White Lily Musketeer Cecilia, a card from BT8, mind you. Limit Break, Counter Blast 1, choose five normal units with Musketeer in their name from your drop zone. Put the chosen cards to the bottom of your deck in any order. Search your deck for up to two cards named White Lily Musketeer Cecilia, call them to separate rear, shuffle the deck. You cannot use this ability for the rest of the turn. Second act ability is choose when your rear guards a Musketeer in its name and retire it. Look at the top five, search for up to one Musketeer, call it to rear, shuffle your deck. This ability cannot be used for the rest of the turn. So that's how you instantly get your Cecilia from the deck to draw in 10K because you're just using your Vanguard skill to do it for free. So you're able to toolbox in a way and fill your board with even more Musketeers, which is cool. This is like right off the gate. Like the minute you ride to grade three, boom, your field should be flooded, which is really cool. And that's what Musketeers whole play style should be. It's kind of too bad that version of Cecilia wasn't modified with like a better like, oh, let's give it an on attack skill or like some way of making it so that when it attacks, you can do even more calling because I don't think we really have too much for musketeers that do this. So the only way you'd be able to do multi-attacking with a musketeer G deck is by striding into 
a different G unit altogether. Speaking of G units, we're also going to take a look at the cards that are confirmed to be reprinted, which is really important because if you have these cards, you're good to go. So right off the bat, Harmonix Messiah is a reprint. Free Harmonix Messiah if it comes with your $60 deck, which is cool, right? Uh, it comes with four copies of Virginal Cecilia, so you can do this skill twice if you need to. So, you know, because it needs to flip a copy of itself for the skill. So thankfully it comes with four. It comes with a lot of Slava, which is nice for, you know, just calling more stuff with the same card name. It does have multi-attacking, which is nice. So you can restand some rear guards. So yeah, it's not bad as a one of. It does come with one Katrina because we do know that we are able to make a lot of plant tokens with a lot of Musketeer cards. So that is also nice. So that this, this, is still kind of a Katrina finisher deck, it looks like. It does come with two copies, a White Lily Captain, Cecilia. Um, I'm assuming that is just flip fodder because it's about having the number of face-up cards in your G-Zone with Cecilia in its name. This is not really meant to stride into, it's just for flip cost. And it comes with one copy of the GB8, which I think is really cool because if all three of these are coming with GB8 cards, that's gonna be really interesting. I like that because they can call more things from the deck as they're being placed, so. This could also be a really good finisher along with Katrina, but I think you're probably gonna end up finishing the game with Katrina before you even get to GB8. I don't know actually, the fact that you flip up two cards in your G-Zone the minute you stride, that could help you lead up to GB8 a little bit faster. So who's to say? A Sandrine, um, I don't know about that one. That one's a little weird. I, I guess if you want to go into Sandrine, you can, but um, I don't really think that there's a reason to, but it's in there. And we got a bunch of really cool, obvious uh, heal guardians. The one that flips face up. Antero is there to get more shield because if you have a full board or nothing, basically. Um, the one that gives you counter charge, which is also really, really good. Rain breath for that funny little where you like damage yourself with Megaloma thing. Y you know, you know the one where you, where you damage yourself and you end your opponent's turn. That's a fun one. So rain breath's good for that. And the Cray Elemental one, that one um, kind of sucks. I don't really like that one. I wish we got a better G Guardian than that. Maybe a Dismal would have been cool. Maybe I'm asking for too much, but uh, something else probably would have been better or like another copy of rain breath or Antero. I think I would have liked that a lot better than one of this uh, Cray Elemental G Guardian that requires you to discard a card for shield. But I digress. Let's kind of talk about overall what this means for not just this product for Cecilia, but also the upcoming ones for Raging Form and Salome. So clearly we're focusing with the original Limit Break cards, right? Just know that you're gonna get the Limit Break cards in the thing. I don't know the quantities yet, but I'm pretty sure they're just gonna give you a playset. So don't worry about that. We don't know the contents of the main deck yet at this time, uh, just G-Zone confirmed cards. We do know that the crests are gonna allow your G-Unit to uh, obtain the skill of your heart, which is really interesting for Raging Form especially. We do know that your Limit Break is gonna be active no matter what, and we do know that it's gonna make your Vanguard's base 13K regardless of its original power. What we can say for sure is that the Errata G units are gonna have their original skills for sure, and we know that you're gonna get two additional Force Markers. These are all Force decks, so they're all gonna give you Force Markers additionally for these card effects. So, and they're gonna allow you to ramp through your G-Zone a little bit faster um, potentially to get to a GB8 if that's the route you decide to go. So my thoughts on this is I think this is fun. I like this idea of taking really, really, really old units, like forget imaginary gift units, V-series units as like the main focal point of premium, right? Because premium decks right now are pretty much like V-decks with like a little bit of spice and a G-zone in it. History Collection brought back the stride skill units, which was really nice because that was the first time in a while that people were just kind of running three to four copies of a like old card. And now we're getting even older with limit break cards. Raging Form's gonna be cool. Cecilia's skill to build a board and call some stuff is okay. Um, Salome's skill I'm a little worried about because Kenna Blast 2 to call a card, eh, not very good. Hopefully the G unit or the crest in some way will change it so that the cost is reduced instead of Counter Blast 2. I really hope it's not still kind of blast two jewel knights but just gaining a crit and being able to call a card is kind of already whatever for salome on top of the fact that the g unit evangeline doesn't even call stuff during the battle phase it just helps you build a board both salome and cecilia seem to be very like build a board decks at least assuming based on the fact that what we've seen with virginal cecilia it's just going to be the same effect 
I think Raging Form is gonna be like the more aggressive one. It's the only one that has a battle phase skill. I think so far Revengers are winning with this one. If we know anything about history, it is doomed to repeat itself. So I can see Revengers being very good again. But that is it for today's video. Just talking about the Cecilia stuff and the premium deck sets. Um, it's all looking really fun. I'm actually kind of glad that we're going with the Limit Break route. I like to see it with Cecilia so far. The, the board building and field swarming seems fun and cool, especially because of the fact that they made it so that when you call Cecilia, you get that extra draw on 10K. I'm really looking forward to seeing what they do with Salome. I think we're getting more stuff revealed this Friday. So we're probably gonna see that effect then too. And then obviously Raging Form. That's gonna be the big one to see how all that's gonna come together. You could also pick these up on 50 cards. There's a pre-order right now for the Stride deck sets. They're all going for about $60 each. You get the whole pre-con, uh, including that fun harmonics with Zaya for 60 bucks. So you're guaranteed harmonics. So it's basically like you buy a harmonics with Zaya and you get a free deck, am I right? So you can pick up each of these for 60 bucks or you can pick up a whole bundle for 175. You get five bucks off, which is nice. And you can also get an additional 5% off when you use code Nexus as well. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.